in sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes... We have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Hmm, the ribbon.
Do you mind okay. if I just... No! Lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... Probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Hm. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay, then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. I hope she's not bad. Knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I have already 
can tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's Kiki doing here? We don't need to bring him it's into over here. here. Let's see. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one mm. little thing. Talk about living in the past. Are you fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. All right. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Bigby. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll... Oh. Thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Thief! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems. But it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Me just uh, a day at the beach, skiing the slopes. Hey, I'm not done here. <laughs> and we can't I should... come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beef and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. The crooked man's gonna get his ah, one way this. or another. Shit. Hmm. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's...